Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you don't know me, my name is Mikkel Larsen and I am a photographer, videographer and freelance journalist based here in Chongqing, China. Today we're going to another of my favorite locations here in Chongqing, a temple that also, despite having lived in the city for such a long time, I never really got to visit until for the first time last year after coming out of quarantine. So uh, this temple is most famous for a pagoda that's up on the top of the hill inside of here. It's an absolutely beautiful building, looks amazing during the day, even better during the night. So uh, we're going to chase some more photos today. Let's go. Hongen Temple Forest Park is actually a, a fairly sizable park. Whew, sun is out in full force. It's a fairly big park considering that it's located smack bang in the middle of the city. It's up on a hill overlooking the river and from the viewing platform or from where the pagoda is actually located, you can also see a big part of the city. So even though the park is fairly big, today I'm only going to be focusing on the pagoda up top. But just look at this. This is a great example of the kind of architecture, again, that I really like and enjoy photographing. So I may have to stop here on my way up and photograph this first. It's a little hot today. <laughs> it's a really nice place though. This big path runs across the entire park and so I follow this all the way out that way, I'll get to the pagoda in the end, so this way. Even though it's way past six o'clock in the afternoon or even in the evening, depending on how you, you want to say it, it's still really, really, really hot today. I am totally breaking a sweat right now. But it's nice to be out and move around a bit, not just being stuck in the apartment at home. One of the reasons why I stopped at this very place is because down here behind the camera, you can actually see a little bit of the view I was talking about before. It gets clearer as you get up further up towards the pagoda itself but the view here is actually pretty good already. So uh, let me show you that. Finally reaching the end of this long pathway that leads all the way up to the tower. Let me just walk around so you can see it. That pagoda is absolutely stunning. Down here, although you can get up much closer than this, this is where I usually start taking my photos because I want to get multiple different angles. And one of the reasons why I like this place is because we're down low, you can shoot upwards towards the tower. And the best time to come here is in the afternoon when the sun is setting, because what happens is that the sun is illuminating the tower from behind you as you photograph it, which means that the light is falling on the tower itself, not behind it. Because if the sun was behind the tower, you would get this weird blown out sky and then the tower would just disappear in darkness because the camera is trying to expose. So you can either get the tower correctly exposed or the sky, you can't get both. But right now with these conditions, the weather is beautiful. There's just a little bit of clouds in the sky hanging around. But because of the way the sun is falling on the tower right now, it's going to be beautiful to look at. I've sort of come to the place where I want to take the first couple of photos, but first I need to get my bag down. So I'm going to start from roughly here. I won't be able to show you what this camera is seeing, but what I will be able to show you are the pictures as I take them. So I am uh, bringing my 60 Mark II with me. That's been my go-to photography camera for many years now. And while the R6 that I'm filming on is a very capable photo camera, it's just easier to shoot like this when you have two camera bodies. So I'm just gonna start down here.
sun is just about to set. I'm walking up the last set of stairs to where the pagoda is actually located. And let me just walk around so you can see. Look at that. It already looks pretty good because the sun is coming down and the light is hitting it beautifully, but just wait, just wait until it gets darker and the lights start coming on. I probably won't be here that long. I just want to photograph it while the, the sun is still coming down, but I will never get tired of looking at this. <laughs> I alluded to this a little while ago, that there's also a great view up here of the city itself. So uh, let me take you to show you that too before it gets too dark. So that over there in the distance, we're looking towards Daping and then going down this way towards Shopping Ba and further out. guys that's going to be it for me from this time it's getting a little bit dark so filming is getting more and more difficult so i'm just going to focus on taking the last of the photos that i want from today i'm sort of looking out of the corner of my eye looking at the pagoda as it gets darker and darker the pagoda gets more and more beautiful with each passing second the sun has just reached below the horizon line so now the sky and how the building looks is really just it's you'll have to see it let me try and see if i can turn around so you can see it as well let me just walk over here look at that you can barely get the whole thing in the frame but come on that's pretty beautiful i hope you enjoyed the video if you like it please leave a like and a comment down below consider subscribing to the channel I'm really grateful for that and as always i'll see you in the next one